Hey, what is up, mortals? It is Jennifer Sathwaker here, and before we get into today's video, there's something I'd like to say. I'd like to let you all know that we have a merch store. Some of the items in it are only available for a limited amount of time, so if you're interested, go into the description and check it out. Each purchase helps us make more content. Secondly, if you didn't know, only 25% of you guys are subscribed to us, so please hit that subscribe button and click the bell icon. Now, with that out of the way, let's get into the video. What's up, mortals? In today's deep dive, we'll be covering the Rinnegan from the Naruto, Naruto Shippuden, and Boruto series of manga and anime. For those unfamiliar, in the world of Naruto, the shinobi, or ninja, of that world utilize supernatural abilities, combining mental, physical, and spiritual energy into chakra, with which they perform several abilities, seemingly magical in nature, called jutsus. In the series of Naruto, many different ninjas belong to special bloodlines that give them abilities beyond the normal chakra-based taijutsu, ninjutsu, and genjutsu. These abilities are known as keke genkai, or keke mora. Dojutsu are a special type of keke genkai that is expressed by a physical manifestation in the user's eyes when they are activated and allows the user to use and utilize several abilities while the eyes are activated. There are three well-known dojutsu, the Byakugan, the Sharingan, and the Renegon, which is considered to be the most powerful of the three. The Renegon is characterized by pale purple eyes with ripple-like patterns, comprised of multiple circles with ever smaller circles within the center of these circles, and even spacing, finally ending with a dot-like pupil in the exact center of the circle. Depending on the user, the Renegon may look different. Hagoromo Otsutsuki and Pei Nagato are both users of the Renegon whose eyes reflected the standard look. The character, Urashiki Otsutsuki, from the Boruto anime, bore a Renegon with similar visual style to the aforementioned description, but with a blue base color with a darker blue iris center immediately surrounding the pupil. In the manga, however, he shares the same color as Momoshiki, a Renegon with a gold base color. Momoshiki, however, had gone through several Renegon colors, red, gold, and the standard purple. Sasuke received a Renegon from Hagoromo Otsutsuki in his left eye. It somewhat resembles the Rene Sharingan in that it looks like the standard Renegon, except it has three teardrop-like Tomo marks along the first smallest circle, and three on the second smallest layer. Urashiki, also when depicted on the anime, has a Renegon with a similar design to Sasuke's, with the ripple pattern and six tomo, three in the inner and three in the second smallest layers. The difference being that the color was a deep red eye color. The Renegon has many extraordinary abilities. It grants its user a powerful reserve of chakra and gives them an enormous amount of ocular power, allowing them to see chakra, its flow in the body, and barriers made of this chakra, and use jutsu of all five basic nature chakras. Some users risk losing their sanity when under a rush of emotions. This rush can boost their physical abilities and makes them extremely dangerous. Pain Nagato had lost his sanity at two times in the manga, one when he killed the ninja who murdered his civilian parents, and another when he avenged his best friend Yahiko by slaying Hanzo, the warlord of the rain country. As an ocular jutsu, it also grants the user a myriad of amazing and varied powers. As shown by Nagato, an owner of the Renegon can utilize six abilities collectively, known as the Six Paths Technique. These techniques are named the Diva Path, the Ashura Path, the Human Path, the Animal Path, the Preta Path, and the Naraka Path. Despite being called the Six Paths, there exists the Seventh Path, called the Outer Path. The Diva Path allows the user to control and manipulate attractive and repulsive forces with objects and people. Pain, when using them, refers to the push and pull technique as Shinra Tensei, or Almighty Push, and Bansho Tenen, or Universal Pull. This technique seems to work on any object in person, but people being pulled or pushed can somewhat resist it, or move while being pulled or pushed in. An advanced form of this technique is known as the Chibaku Tensei. This technique creates a black sphere between the user's hands that they can then hurl into the sky. The sphere activates, generating a powerful attractive force, pulling all of the debris, rubble, trees, earth, and anything else in the area into it, creating a large, perfectly spherical planetoid. The technique has two major uses. One is to drag someone into the sphere and bury them under intense gravitational pressure and rubble, 
The other was to create the satellites from a higher location and use them as large ballistic projectiles, crashing them down on the opponent. Payne and Sasuke have used the Chibaku Tensei for its first style, attempting to seal away Naruto and the other tailed beast respectively, while Madara utilized it to create and launch meteors into the ground. This technique utilizes an insane amount of chakra and has a recharge time based on the amount of energy used the last time the technique was used. This weakness was exploited by Naruto to knock out Pain Nagato's final puppet. Before we get back into the dive, I would like to say that in case you guys didn't know, we are a secondary channel to our main channel, We the Celestials. We the Celestials is full of fun what-if stories. If you have the sugar tooth for great storytelling, please give that channel a visit as well. If you're interested in the content we share with all channels, make sure you click the icon on the top right corner or check the description below for a link to the channel. Now, with that out of the way, let's get back into the dive. The next path, the Ashura path, grants the user the ability to augment their body, summoning mechanized armor and various ballistic and mechanical weaponry resembling the bodies of highly well-crafted ninja puppets. Pain utilized this technique through a ninja puppet, giving the being three faces, six arms, and a sharp saw-like tail that wrapped itself around the user's waist as a sash. From their forearms, the user could launch a cluster of missiles, shoot the arms themselves, release tendrils, drills, and blades. From their feet, they could launch forward, boosted by bursts of chakra, and from their mouths and heads, a large and powerful blast of chakra could be unleashed, capable of destroying multiple buildings. The body that channeled this technique by pain was capable of ripping off the arm of the Toad Sage Jiraiya with basic taijutsu. The next path, the human path, allows the user to read the mind of any target by placing his hand on the target's head or chest. As this technique is used, the target's soul is extracted from their body, killing them. This path's only major weakness was the need to touch the opponent at least once to begin the extraction. The animal path allowed the user of the Renegon to summon various animals and creatures to aid it in battle. In the world of Naruto, summoning creatures isn't anything new. The major difference was the sheer scope and variety of the summons in the animal path, as well as their functional immortality. Another advantage the animal path had was no need for a blood sacrifice, a summoning scroll or tattoo, or hand seals. The animal path also had the versatile ability to summon people using hand signs the same way people could be reverse summoned by their summoning contract, effectively acting as a personal teleportation device for their allies. Amongst the summons, there was a giant drill-beaked bird capable of rapid flight and deadly precision with its beak, a giant multi-headed dog rivaling the tailed beasts in size, a giant snake-tailed chameleon summon with the ability to blend in with its surroundings to take the user by surprise. These summoned creatures were capable of either one or two nature-release jutsus or a special jutsu, like the chameleon's camouflage. A weakness of this jutsu, at least a weakness associated with pain's usage, is the fact that the corpse utilizing the nature path is relatively vulnerable, requiring it to be protected by the other paths against extremely skilled opponents. The Preda Path gives the user the ability to absorb chakra in any form. It can absorb chakra from an individual or their ninjutsu, nullifying the parts of their techniques based on chakra. This chakra absorption is facilitated by a barrier formed around the user's body, allowing the absorption to occur in all directions. The major weakness of this technique is the fact that while the chakra can be absorbed, it is of its specific nature type and composition before being converted or used. For this reason, the original Predapath user who faced Naruto ended up turning into a stone statue from absorbing too much of Naruto's Senjutsu-based sage form. When utilized by Nagato's real body, a large enough amount of chakra can be used to revitalize the user and heal injuries. Used when a revived Ido Tensei Nagato regained his non-emaciated form by absorbing chakra from Killer B. The next path is the Naraka path. The major ability of the Naraka Path is the summoning of the entity known as the King of Hell. When a Naraka Path user grabs an enemy, the King of Hell, a large, monstrous, pale humanoid with Renegon eyes appears behind them, intimidating them while they are being interrogated. If they lie after the interrogation, the interrogated loses his life. If they tell the truth, they survive. In combination with the Human Path, the King of Hell can hold the souls absorbed by the Human Path. There is a seventh power known as the Outer Path. The Outer Path grants the user an ability to control life and death. The user is capable of reviving the dead, transmitting chakra into black receivers, and manifesting chakra chains. 
The black receivers can be seen on the pane of Six Paths, the acting head of the Akatsuki, an international terrorist group in the world of Naruto with the goal of world domination through the use of the bijou, or tailed beasts. The black receivers allow the user to command up to six corpses and channel the power of each of the other six paths into one of each of the users. The six bodies share a sense of sight and share a mind, capable of reasoning and combat independently whilst also being in link with others. Using this, Pain controlled six bodies, utilizing their various skills to kill Jiraiya and later destroy the village of Konoha and nearly kill a majority of their citizens. The Outer Path also controls life and death, allowing the user to revive others utilizing a massive amount of chakra. Pain Nagato used this ability to revive all those within the village of Konoha he killed after confronting Naruto on Pain in the Cycle of War and Hurt. This power is quite crazy, as the closest thing to this revival is the Ido Tensei ability utilized by Orochimaru and his disciple, Kabuto, which revived the people as living corpses with chakra power limited to the abilities of their summoner and the life used to summon them. Thank you all for watching the video to the end. Now, there's a few more things that I'd like to go over before the video ends. On behalf of We the Celestials, I'd like to thank the writer for this video, as well as the editors for this video. Their details will be in the descripts. If you're a voice actor, editor, or writer, or you're interested in becoming one of those, go to the Discord that is in the description of this video and hit up the head of one of those areas. We're always looking for new members to join us. Also, if you liked this video and would like a continuation, let's see if we can get at least 30 likes for the video and we'll have a continuation ready. Next video will cover the Renegon powers outside of Pain of Six Paths, as well as cover a full-on history of the Renegon. If we got anything wrong or missed out on anything, be sure to let us know in the comments. That's it for us for today's video, so thank you all for watching and don't forget to hit that subscribe button if you're interested and hit that like button if you liked the video. Until next time, peace out mortals, have an amazing day!